What is guys, this is Wizboy101 here, and today we're reacting to 10 Most Disturbing Things Found in McDonald's Food. Though, this is by Top Media. If I'll put a link to the original video down below. Let's do this. Now, this is going to be sound interesting. In Osaka, Japan, in 2014, a, tooth. a customer at McDonald's branch found a shard of human tooth in their order of fries. In fries. Not a whole human tooth, of course, just a shard. The staff mm. claimed that it couldn't have come from any of them. Even going as far as to check the teeth of all their staff, and a public health investigation was launched to find the source of the tooth. Whoa. Of all the things to find in a chicken legend, a five-inch wire brush is among the most surprising. Wow. The staff were strangely easygoing about the complaint, and actually laughed when the family complained, offering an exchange and nothing more by way of apology. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Usually you have to pay for extras at McDonald's. The family were suitably disgusted and took the complaint to McDonald's UK head office. Ooh. Imagine biting into your hamburger and finding that it tastes minty. That's what one <laughs> Canadian gum. McDonald's customer suffered when he found a piece of chewed gum in his burger. Ew. He claimed that someone had put the gum into his food deliberately and a public health investigation was started, but as is the usual way, nothing more was ever heard of it. Ew. Roaches and rats are the biggest stereotypes when it comes to finding Roaches. disgusting things that's in the, burgers. That's the most but imagine finding one of the hardy insects in a hash Whoa. brown. That's what happened to one child who found one deep fried into the middle of his breakfast. Roaches may be able to survive a nuclear winter, but they can't take the heat of the Mickey D's fryer. Oh god, that's gross. Oh. Speaking of vermin, finding a rat in your salad is a nightmare scenario, unless you're a cat. But that was the reality for Dallas Cowboys assistant coach Todd Dallas Haley when he took home a salad for his Tom wife. Haley. In it, they found a six-inch rat. Oh, he man, sued the company inch. for $1.7 in damages, but McDonald's settled out of court to avoid a media frenzy, which would have surrounded a high-profile customer. Ew. In a strange way, maggots are worth more than both and make it higher on the list. They're disgusting in themselves, but they also have Ew. the potential to become flies, God, making them worthy of inclusion. Melbourne man Lee Savage ordered extra pickles with his burger. When he went to check that they were there, he found some wriggly little friends. Ooh, in a maggots. typical Australian understatement, he claimed he just wanted a refund rather than taking any action. Ew. A teenager in Massachusetts was the unlucky recipient of a different kind of surprise toy in her meal when she found a syringe needle in her burger. Ew. Health officials believe that it may have been a veterinary needle or, hideously, may have made its way into the food chain at a meat packing plant. Not true. 47-year-old Yusuf Brazil bought a burger from McDonald's in Sweden nail. and on taking his first bite, found himself with a nail almost half an inch long pierced through his gums. Oh. He explained, it was stuck between my teeth and gums. I managed, I managed to, to get it out, I but then I threw up. What if <laughs> one of my children this. had got the burger instead? Staff couldn't explain how the nail was in the burger. We have started an investigation and informed our suppliers, but can only apologize, oh, said the I manager bet. of the outlet. Brazil was left with a fear of fast food following the 2010 incident. We're going to make homemade burgers from now on, he said. I, I really bet. McNuggets don't look particularly Ooh, trustworthy at the best of times. Oh. But when you hear the story of a mother who found a full But when you hear the story of a mother who found oh a full God. deep fried chicken head in her child's McNuggets, you may never want to order them again. The story goes that she reached across the table, hoping to snag a couple of the tasty morsels for herself, but got more than she bargained for she when she came away with the grizzly offal, complete with eyes, comb, and beak. She sued the company yeah. for one hundred thousand dollars. Quite right too. Yeah, dang right. McDonald's doesn't use boneless, lean beef trimmings in its burgers anymore, but it did at one point. The controversial meat product, known colloquially as pink slime, took what was left of the meat after all the choice cuts were taken oh, and were already deemed unfit disgusting. for human consumption in the UK, where they are instead used in dog and chicken feed. McDonald's has only recently decided to stop using the product, which yeah, was treated with ammonium do. hydroxide in order to kill off harmful germs like E. coli. You seriously ruined McDonald's, and now you get the hang of it. Like, like I'm really dang serious about McDonald's. I've been eating their food, alright? But I heard many disgusting things, but even I know now, I'm never going to eat again. Uh, let me know if you visit McDonald's. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, this is Swiss Boy 101 signing out.